Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, Adobe has done it. They've delivered auto color. It actually works. All right, we see a lot of automatic color, auto color, auto stuff all over the place, but it only makes sense if the change is based on the clip. So if a clip is dark, it'll change accordingly. If it's light or it's desaturated, it changes based on the clip. That's exactly what auto color does. It analyzes every frame, not just the frame you're on, every frame in the clip, and then makes a choice based on artificial intelligence, machine learning. So Adobe has been training the machines uh, on what makes a good quality image. So a balanced image, good contrast and things like that. It's good for beginners and for pros. For beginners who have no idea where to start, you just click on it and you're done. For a pro, it's going to get you started and then you can tweak it from there. When Adobe made this, and I'll shut up and show you in a second, but this is important. When you make an automatic setting, you have two choices. Make what's called a black box. That means it looks at it, it makes a change, and then the change is unchangeable. Or you make a change based on the tools already in the Lumetri color panel. And that means it does it for you. But more importantly, guess what? It's a way for you to learn. You can see the changes of the sliders, which way they go. And maybe when you do this over and over again, you start to understand how to automatically get that color you want. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna to go to my color uh, workspace. Your color workspace might be hidden under here. This is the new workspace. I have a clip selected and you can see this clip. There's not a lot of contrast in this and it's kind of drab. So in the basic correction, that's this correction here at the top, um, there's now this auto color button. Watch this. Boom. I'll turn that off and turn it on. Wow. I mean, holy smokes. Let's look at what it did. It changed the temperature, minus 15.3. It changed the tint, plus 1.9, so a little bit into the magenta. It changed the saturation down to 90.1%. Changed the exposure, contrast, highlight, shadow, and uh, the blacks. And this is the incredible part of this change, the intensity. You like that change, but you want more of it? Then turn it up and watch the sliders. They're moving in relative positions as you turn it up. Okay, that should freak you out. That is a great thing. If it didn't do that, then you would have to add a little bit more exposure, a little bit less, more contrast, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, but it's making that a relative change. So click one button, leave it, or click and drag the slider. Let's try some more. I chose this one for two reasons. First of all, uh, to have a different skin tone and to have an incredibly, uh, influential background color. Let's see what happens here. Boom, look at that. From that to that, it's almost like somebody brushed away a bunch of, of uh, orange frost on the top. Look at his crisp white t-shirt now. It still retained the color changes on the light. So there is a, a very uh, hot magenta light hitting this part of his face and it kept that all. All right, let's go a little bit more. This one is has a bit of a lens flare in it, and I don't think it has enough contrast. Auto, look at that. These are good changes. They're not over the top crazy changes. They're the kind of changes that a colorist would do. Remember, it's analyzing all of the frames. Okay, the next one I added specifically to see if I could trip it up. In this one, the frames are not the same. We've got a giant lens flare happening here, and then we have a darker segment here. The light is behind her. So let's see what auto does there. That's it. That's all it needs to do. It keeps the lens flare as part of it, obviously. And if we turn it on and off right here, you can see it, it's not doing 
a lot. Now, it's not lighting her up. It's shot this way. Her face is going to be darker than elements in the background. If you wanted her face lighter, auto is not going to do that, that because that's an isolated selection, which you could do in Lumetri by adding in a mask and, and brightening that up. All right, let's go to this one, which has a blue tint on the whole thing. Again, a nice change based on that clip. Look, it's subtle. It's all that's needed. I mean, I don't want to take all of the, the blue away if I want. I could just take that the whole temperature way up there and try to do things like that. But the auto setting is perfect. And you can reset that at any time. Okay, so now let's go to this one. Here again is another one with a different skin tone. But again, it, there's not enough contrast in this shot. And boom, there we go. And if I wanted to, I could take the shadows or the blacks down, maybe take the saturation down, but at least I had a good starting point. That's what I love about this. I'm gonna use this all the time because you don't have to accept 100% of those changes. Hit it, look at it, great, I love it, or mm, uh, like I did, I want those blacks to be a little bit darker. All right, let's look at this one. This is a very stylized shot. There's not a lot of natural light in here at all. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Here's before and after with that. Nice, okay. Um, and this one, very plain, almost monochromatic shot. Nice, very neutral. Look at how much of a temperature uh, change it had to do to balance that out. Let's look at this one. Shouldn't be too much of a change, just subtle. Now this one I picked because there's a lot of haze in here and I don't think there's a lot of uh, uh, darks that are going on. Okay, there we go. And then the last one is very washed out. Let's try this. Okay, and there we go. That's that. So there you go, there's auto color. Like I said, it analyzes every frame. It uses machine learning, which means it's going to get better and better and better. Adobe will continue to do this kind of uh, stuff in not only here, but also in things like Photoshop, where the machine learning based on real actual examples that they feed thousands of examples uh, into uh, machine learning, it's going to get better and better and better. I love this. I love that it's not a black box. It's easily tweakable and that intensity slider whoo that's nice i really love that all right congratulations adobe you really knocked it out of the park on this one hey if you're new to video revealed and uh, you thought something like this was useful then take a moment and subscribe if you want to support us some more you can do that on videorevealed.com shop donate once monthly any amount you want we love our many donor donors thank you so much there's lots of free stuff to download and some things in the member section and stuff you can buy. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get excited but really look in and see if something is worth value to you. And I think it is.